Okay, finally, sadly, we have to end this. And so... That, are the, the locals? I, have no, I have no idea where the locals are. We should wait. We should wait, maybe, but Christian is very eager, so I think Christian should come now. You, you can, no, you cannot replace them, but still come away here and explain about the assassin game, please. Yeah, as the locals cannot be found, I have to, uh, two or three minutes to talk, and I don't want to dance, so I will try to give the results of the Assassin's game. To make it more fun, I have a few fun facts about this Assassin's game. Uh, there have been 44 players in the game. I would like to you stand up, all of you who played this game. Please, stand up, stand up. Yeah, 44 people. Yeah, you are all ghosts. You are all dead. You are all lying on the floor. So by this, I resurrect you, and you can continue working on Debian. Thank you for playing. <laughs> Actually, the, thank you. Have you seen my talk? The, the, the first person killed has been Leandro Gomez <laughs> in only six hours. He has been killed by DKG, who was very fast at this. Some, someone else was very fast at killing people, and he killed two persons in only 21 minutes. Thank you, Gunnar, for killing Judith then Tincho in 21 minutes. That's great. <laughs> so, about the results. The results are those people who killed as many people as possible. So the third person is Lenin Zamir Flores Rosman, who is in the local team. He's not here anymore. Sorry for that. He had four kills. Second is Daniel Can Gilmo, DKG. Yeah. Four, four kills too, four kills too, but he was faster. And the winner is Gemma Raskiel Jimenez Cantarero, who killed seven people. So I would like to see Gemma here, standing here. So Gemma, please come up. And she actually survived the game, so she was the one who killed the most people. So you know what I said. I will have to have the revenge on her. And I will <laughs> kill her. <laughs> and there has been another survivor who I'd like to see also. It was Pedro Julian Moreno Patino. So thanks for surviving. And <laughs> beware my sock. So thank you for playing. I hope we'll have much more player last year. One interesting fact. I've been told that very visible people are very diff easy to kill. And I have a few counter examples, such as my friend Joey, who survived for six days, I think. He didn't kill anybody. Joey is not a violent person, but he survived for six days. <laughs> so, thank you also for playing Joey. And thank you. I hope you enjoyed the game. Oh, maybe now we have a local team somewhere. I don't know. You can see. I not. You can't. Let's keep Debcon 13 running a bit more. 12. <laughs> There is no watch. There's no watch. Pollito, Pollito, we have an emergency. Somebody is thrown up. We need your help.
front desk. Question to front desk. Is there anybody? Does this, uh, does this look familiar to you? <laughs> so, thank you, actually. Thank you for being nice guests. This is our team. We were doing all the stuff we were trying to show within... Thank you. So uh, we are starting a nice little tradition today.
during this DevConf. Can the Swiss team, the DevConf 13 team, please come up to stage? So we're trying to pass over some of our knowledge and experience during DevConf. <laughs> so here is Pollito, our beloved leader of DevConf 12. So please take care of him. So, thank you very much. See you next year. Yes. So, so it, it will be, be very hard. Well, you, uh, some of you may know, we have tried over the years, once and again, and we seem to continue failing in uh, avoiding to have a divide between the local team and the global team. So this DevConf, we have uh, two openings. We also have two closings. <laughs> I do not expect this one to be as, uh, as wildly successful and flashy. But we also have one. We, uh, We had one some minutes ago. Yeah. OK, as, as we can just see, we did it. We did it. It's always hard, but we did it. And we did it all together. We all did it. This is the first time ever a DevConf is really in a true tropical setting. And this is a truly revolutionary country. So, well, we fixed some books and got some ideas started and uh, some technical talks and, uh, yes, yeah, some projects uh, we got started. We achieved to freeze uh, WYSI. Well, yes, uh, uh, before DEPCOV, that is. But uh, still, cheers. So it was two full sweaty weeks of hard work. But we, yeah, through, through repetition, we are building a tradition. So we have, uh, here, Debian is uh, clearly a clan. I don't know if you, you want to take over? You're doing it well. Uh, I am, but. <laughs> OK, so part of our traditions that we cherish and repeat and all that is the, the great cheese and wine and wine and wine and cheese, <laughs> yeah, which, which we seem to see as uh, something just a uh, party and uh, have fun. But yeah, it's a true collaboration. Uh, Christian managed to assemble a whole team of cheese cutters and uh, wine openers. And so it is all in the spirit of the same. Uh, we had this, uh, well, I don't know if you can see it there, but we saw it as a developer soup. <laughs> Yeah, well, we had a day trip. We had the name that should not be named. We had a DevConf sauna again. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't want photos of that. <laughs> uh, and well, we, we had uh, lots of hacking as well. That's what uh, brought us here. But well, after all, DevConf is about each of you, each of us. <laughs> <laughs> it's all about love. So thank you very, very much for sharing all this love.
for, for many of us, this is the most intensive, intensive uh, two weeks of the year, uh, the, the, the time we can devote more time to Debian. Uh, we all are very thankful, every particip participant, uh, to all of the other participants for making this possible. We have to thank uh, truly our sponsors, uh, which uh, well, really made this possible. Uh, in the first place, UCA, the university that hosted us, that gave us this great uh, uh, place to work and to have talks and all that. Uh, the country's government, uh, which uh, facilitated uh, the, ho the, the hotel and many other expenses. And, uh, well, uh, Google, Matanel, uh, Hewlett Packard, Evos, Ubuntu, Canonical, Arm, uh, Matanel, oh no, sorry, <laughs> Toby Churchill, Simas, Renesas, uh, Profit Bricks, Nexenta, Yesman, Colabora, and our permanent sponsors, Linux Magazine, Bitemark Hosting, Linode, Rackspace, Mandade, Gandhi, and Linux Journal. Plus our, <laughs> plus our uh, professional and corporate sponsors, as well as other donators. Thank you. I don't understand this slide. Okay. See you next year in Switzerland. Um, have a good trip home, and please help us cleaning up the place. Um, dinner will be served as usual from 7 to 9. Um, the network in the Hack Lab will keep working until sometime. The mirror is going away. The mirror is going away now. Um, we'll, the video team will clean up um, the big rooms with the network team, and your case here. Nothing for the stage. You can download all videos already and t um, watch them on the flight home. Uh, okay, I can do it now. Um, something really, unfortunately, the swimming pool is closed tonight. There's another event, but we have an alternative. The, um, the place where we had the concert last Saturday, which is just on the other side of the street when you're leaving UCA to this side, which is the National Dance School. We have this place. There we have some music and beers and everything you will need to for the after party. The swimming pool will open in the night. After one o'clock, yeah. Gracias. Gracias, Hema. Um, if you borrowed our stuff for this DebConf, um, please don't take it. Don't, please don't just take it. Take it to the hack lab. Go to Hema. She is this dangerous girl that killed everybody. And, um, and she has like, please go there even if it's your stuff so she can mark it's gone and it's gone into the right hands. This would really help us a lot. Thank you. <laughs>